So, back at this again with the uh, Cayenne on a lovely afternoon here. Um, so, what happened in the fire is the uh, fiber optic cables uh, melted in the process. None of the other ones did, just somehow the fiber optic ones did. So that's a little bit more complicated than just crimping and soldering or whatever you guys choose to do. But I have found a workaround for this. If you have something like that, where your fiber optic cables are cut or melted or snapped or whatever, uh, there are ways that you can get around it without replacing the whole cable, which literally runs from where the stereo would be, which is like here, and they run up through here and all the way back and down, and then there's a sometimes a module down there, and then they run all the way to the back of the car where the amplifier and CD changer is, for most cars at least. So this will apply to like most, like Volkswagens, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Porsche, stuff like that. So a couple things that you'll need. Razor blade with a brand new blade in it sharper the better the sharper this is the better you can't cut them with like a with like a pair of side cutters or anything like that because it'll leave like a uh like a ridge in it and you want it co to be completely flat so i'll need that you will need some 3000 grit sandpaper so tear your whole house apart and try to find that uh, or you can just skip that step if you're more organized than me you'll need these so these are a fiber optic stripper i bought these from amazon uh, i came with like a bunch of other nonsense that i just threw in the garbage but basically what it has here i'll try and it has that on it you can get away without this you you can probably use like a like a pair of like wire cutters uh i don't have any in here that have kind of like the holes in them that that you can just kind of strip back but it won't work unless you have like that style don't try and use like the quick uh like squeeze ones where they strip the wires uh, quickly because they won't cut through the plastic ending of it. You'll need some of these. I got these from China off eBay. Uh, they come with like, uh, they're a joint, a uh, fiber optic joint. You can get these in plastic or brass. These are the brass ones. If you get the plastic ones, you could probably glue them on or something like that, but I chose the brass ones for this particular thing. And then some of these. You, I think I got these at like Lord Co or Napa, maybe. Maybe I got these off Amazon too. But you want something that kind of looks like that. And what we're going to be using is the 14 to 18. So that one there, right in there. And that's going to be able to crimp it down without pinching the fiber optic lead. So first thing you got to try is I brought this little block of wood with me. That's going to give you my hard surface. And what I'm going to do is kind of put that in there and cut each end of the fiber optic lead that isn't melted and then put them together. I hope I get this right. I wonder if there's like an inner and out. Either way, I suppose you can just swap them around. I'll try it with a radio or something like that. I'll pull the stereo out of my black Cayenne for this or something, something creative like that and we'll see if it works. I should have enough stereo harness here to get it to work. Yeah, it looks like the bulk of it's there, so. Yeah, all right, well, let's try that and I'll uh, return back with an update. So I got two of them cut, or at least one of the cables cut. They're uh, this one back here, and then that one way back there. So because that one kind of got melted more than the rest of them, or than the other one there, uh, I decided to do that one first. So what I ended up doing was kind of using this block of wood, kind of wedging it in there and then using my utility blade to cut it. But as you can kind of see from this here, I don't know if the camera's going to focus on this. Mm, it's the other side there kind of hatched up. But if you look, I tried to get as clean of a cut as possible. Come on, focus. But there's still a bit of a jagged edge on it. So that's where the sandpaper comes in. So you use this 3000 grit sandpaper and polish the ends of it essentially with that to make a completely smooth edge before you put the uh, connector on. So I'd have a go at that. So I got to both sand it down as smooth as I could. Those are the two ones that are kind of further in. And uh, the next step will be using these to cut 
the uh, plastic shielding off of it. Now you want to cut exactly as much as you need. So go shorter first and then if you need more, cut down more. But don't go too far because then you have to cut it back again and then you got to re-sand it down and everything. So it's best just to do this. But yeah, you could even tell by the... With the blade, it, uh, if it focused with the blade, it doesn't come out too, too bad. So, yeah, so now we're going to strip those back. Ooh, just dropped. Oh, who knows? Strip those back and, uh, yeah, put the ends on. So I already put it on there, but effectively, it's hard to do with one hand, so I couldn't film it. But effectively, you want to put that inner ring, so right in there between, so between this one and this one put that inner ring in that uh, 14, 18 slot. And you wanna do that for both sides and then you can connect your jumper. And that's how you do it. That's how you get around replacing the whole thing or using a piece of vacuum hose or I don't know, whatever the fix is, but this is what I've come up with and it seems to be working so far. So I didn't wanna do the vacuum hose thing because if I put the dash back together and it comes apart i'm not pulling the whole thing apart to fix it so i want something kind of quasi permanent so so uh those are all connected up one plugged like in and got up we heard him talk about that because he had a lot of time on the ice in ot uh quinn hughes played a lot of minutes as he often does but other than that the radio but pretty well spread out and that i wish i had like a music well for the canucks tonight. wish i had a cd to put in it or something like that